Correlation does not always imply causation. In the lesson on linear models, we saw that bear populations tend to be lower in areas of higher human population. So it's now tempting to say that higher human populations tend to cause bear populations to be lower. And that certainly makes sense in this case. We could imagine that the more people live in an area, the more we might drive bears out or disrupt their habitat or food supply or something like that. But keep in mind that all we've actually shown is that the two variables are correlated. And there are other possible relationships that could explain this correlation. Another explanation, for example, is that the people are avoiding areas with lots of bears. Basically, the size of the bear population is causing the human population to be what it is. It's also possible that there's some third variable influencing both populations. Now, I don't know much about where bears tend to live, but it's at least plausible that humans and bears just seek out different climates. This way, even if the two populations don't interact at all, we would still see a correlation. Of course, the relationship between the variables may combine aspects of each of these possibilities. A good example of this is the relationship between predator and prey populations. The size of the predator population determines the rate at which the prey is being eaten, but at the same time the size of the prey population determines the availability of food for the predator, thereby limiting its maximum population. It would be very important to know what is causing what if, for example, you were working to save an endangered bear population. Should you just push all of the people out of an area? Would that even have any effect, and if so, would it be enough? Are you better off relocating the bear population to a more hospitable location? And what characteristics does that environment need in order for the bears to thrive? But let's not be too hasty. Just because there was a correlation in the particular data points that we have, it doesn't mean that it would generalize well. In making this example, we only looked at a few different counties, all of them in North Carolina, and we may get a different picture if we were to broaden our scope. So finding a correlation in your data can point out where relationships might exist, but without further investigation, we can really only speculate about what that relationship is, or if it's even there at all.